All right, welcome back to the drive through. Stop by the deli. Get yourself some white chicken chili. Okay, so the diagonals of a quadrilateral are congruent, but exactly one pair of opposite sides are congruent. This, is, this would take a, maybe a long time for you guys to consider, um, but having taught geometry for a long time, I understand that the shape they are referring to is an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, This shape has exactly one pair of congruent opposite sides and the diagonals are congruent. The more that you do these, the quicker you'll get at thinking through these properties and that is absolutely the most difficult part of the upcoming test is processing this stuff fast enough. Okay, so. We're trying to prove that two of the triangles are congruent. Okay, I'm sorry, two of the triangles are, are isosceles. Um, and so I've got to give that this is an isosceles trapezoid. So let's give it some. So given. Um, well, I guess, let's see. Okay, so actually I'm not given that it's an isosceles trapezoid. Um, I'm only given that QU is congruent to DA and QA is congruent to du, right? So I I have to work with that. So if you pull it out like this, maybe you see that you you are a reflexive. Whoops, this should be a single one. And this should be a single one. Maybe you can see that we are a reflexive step away from proving these two triangles congruent. So let's just do that to start. So UA is congruent to UA. Reflexive. And so now I can say that triangle QUA is congruent to triangle DAU by side, side, side. Okay, now I can say that angle QAU is congruent to angle DA, DUA by CPCTC. This one congruent to that one, right? Let's see. And that gives me my first goal, that triangle, let's see, um, UXA is isosceles by definition of isosceles. Remember in your book that your book actually says that there's two different ways to prove that a triangle is, a triangle is isosceles. And I never liked that, but now I'm taking advantage of it. I'm no better than you guys. I complain about things and then I take them to my advantage. I guess that's just how life works. So I've got this. Now I feel like the next process is very similar. You see what I'm about ready to do? I'm just going to do this now. I'm just going to do the exact same process. So, Q 
QD is congruent to QD. If I was smart, I would have included this above, but I hadn't thought it through enough, which is why I didn't always finish my test in high school. Okay, moving on over here. I've got now that triangle QDA is congruent to triangle DQU. Um, by side, side, side. This is so deja vu. Now I'll say that angle QDU is congruent to angle DQU. Um, by CPCTC, and now I've got triangle QXD is isosceles by definition of isosceles. Boom! <laughs>